Hi, I'm Hannah and in this video we're going to look at how to multiply by 10, 100 and 1000. It's really important that your pupils have an understanding of why what they do works and this comes from having a really deep conceptual understanding. One way to support them with learning about multiplying by 10, 100 and 1000 is to use a place value slider. This is because they can move it from left to right as they divide and multiply. So, let's have a look at multiplying 6 by 10. It's a really good idea to lay out your work in a place value table. This is because it shows your pupils the value of each digit. So we have a six in the ones column as it represents six ones. So what's going to happen when we multiply it by 10? It's a good idea to ask your pupils what they think is going to happen first of all. So our six is going to move one place to the left to the tens column. This is because the tens column is 10 times greater than the ones column. We then need to remember to put our place value holder. So 6 multiplied by 10 is 60. It's really important that you're careful with your language as you don't want to encourage children to have misconceptions. For example, avoid saying add a zero as this will cause them problems when they start multiplying decimals. So how can we multiply 6 by 100? Well, we're going to move our 6 once into the tens column and then again into the hundreds column. This is because the 6 in the hundreds column is 100 times larger than the ones column. So now we need to remember to put in our placeholders. So 6 multiplied by 100 is 600. So now, what happens when we want to multiply 6 by 1,000? If your pupils had developed an understanding that each column to the left is 10 times greater than to the column directly to the right, then they should be able to understand that we're going to multiply it once, twice and three times by 10, meaning that our 6 ends up in our 6,000s column. We can then put our place value holders in, which means that 6 multiplied by 1,000 is 6,000. We can use this method with larger numbers and decimals as well, because our place value columns always have the same relationship. So, for example, if I was multiplying 807 by 10, all my digits would move one place to the left. So it would become 8,070. So that is how you can multiply by 10, 100 and 1,000.